So a great quote here from the liver unit in Southampton General Hospital. It says, quote, you cannot get a cancer cell occurring unless DNA is altered. When you drink, the acetaldehyde is corrupting the DNA of life, puts you on the road to cancer. One of the most common genetic defects in man is our inability to counteract the toxicity of alcohol. Now, I really like the way that's put because it kind of puts it like it's a genetic defect that we can't drink without causing damage. <laughs> it's not a genetic defect, it's how we're built. Acetaldehyde hits the liver, you know, alcohol hits the liver, creates acetaldehyde, which then starts causing this cascade of problems. And like I said, I've worked with people with bowel cancer and liver cancer, it's heartbreaking. People just literally rotting to death in front of you in their 20s and 30s and 40s. And the average age of bowel cancer drops every year, all over the world. No amount of alcohol is safe for cancer risk. Any amount of drinking increases breast cancer. So the number one fear uh, for most New Zealand women is breast cancer. Number one fear. First things first though, let's bust the biggest myth about alcohol. And this is something that a lot of people in the room, when I talk about alcohol, they kind of have in the back of their mind, oh yeah, but I drink like the French. They have this sophisticated European drinking style. You know? Well, actually not so much. Drink like the French. This is a quote from the Institute of Gustave Rousseau Paris. Quote, alcohol is responsible for 25% of all 15 to 34 age French deaths and more than all cancer and heart disease combined. So when you actually go to France and you go to the health department and you ask them, they say we have an alcohol epidemic that is killing our young people. But how it's marketed overseas is we drink really well and responsibly and we, you know, 